I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Minneapolis in the suburbs and we've got a great station wagon for you. Randy Geyer with me, collector of some amazing Dodge and Mopar and Chrysler cars. What year make and model is this one? This is a 1959 Dodge Sierra Custom Spectator wagon. Which is a lot going on. This is a new one for you. It is, yeah. How I long just, you had this one? I just bought this about two weeks ago. Two weeks, you're seeing it, and here we go. So without further ado, let's go right to that front end. Well, some would say only a mother could love at some point, but you know, cars have an amazing way of looking better with age, and this one now is just charming and amazing. But back in the day, this was just a car you took to the grocery store, you put the kids in it, you went to Wisconsin, and you came home, and look at the size of this vehicle. Now, of course, we've got current cars that are massive as well, but back in 1959, that's one big ride where you pack the whole family in that one. That was the Cleavers doing all that stuff. Exactly. Wally and the B. And they're in the car. So what made you say, you know what, I think I need this wagon. Did it pop up somewhere? Did somebody tell you about it? How'd this happen? It was on Bring a Trailer, and they send me <laughs> emails every day to pimp me to buy cars. And this one happened to pop up a few weeks back, and I looked at it and went, oh, I got to have that one. I mean, the colors are great, um, for sure. It has the great mirrors like some of your other cars do. Actually, like the 300F which is a classy ride. That front end though, with those eyebrows over the headlights and that slightly uh, grill, <laughs> it just says, get out of the way. Mama will run you over with the kids. And this, this is kind of a really interesting hood ornament, isn't it? It is. It has this arrow-like feature, but yet this almost waterfall-like front to it. And then those big eyebrows right there. It has some nice chrome in here. You've got this little cup, and to show it to you just like that, so you can see that lip on there, which was great for catching all the bugs, I'm sure, at the time. Now, this tinted window looks uh, uh, like an option. I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Not on the Sierra Custom, which was their very top of the line station wagon. So it got all the gingerbread and all the goodies and chrome and, and tinted windows, I believe, were all standard. But take my comments with a grain of salt. I've only owned it for two weeks and I haven't learned all the details just yet. And look at, you've got this chrome piece that comes into this chrome piece. This little chrome piece here, all for the Custom, and then the word Sierra on the tail and another chrome piece on top of that and as Randy likes to say just brush it on lots of chrome even a little chrome piece here on this one now one thing I was looking for and maybe I've missed it but even the tail lights have an interesting design there it almost looks like you should take this and turn it turn it this way seems like it but, but they, it becomes side markers yeah it has that side marker look and you can see this pattern here, the step to get into it. I have no idea why they would put these bumper rubber features there, but they do. Well, that's so that when you fold it down, oh. it lays on the ah. bumper. I didn't think it would fold down. I would have thought that would have folded way farther. And look, well, let's, uh, let's open that fold, shall we? We've got our, our dual exhaust on this one. Another bumper guard there. No handle on the outside. This great emblem there besides the word specter. So it opens spectator. like so. Spectator. Spectator, thank you. Spectator. There. Where's the gas going? Right here. Is it a tail light? Push button? Ah. There we go. So here's your picnic basket your Dodge manual and the Dodge Sierra wagons for 59 love the fact this one came with the trunk and treats that's 
exactly <laughs> what it looked like. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Just load them up. This guy yeah. has the automatic weapon in the back, which is great for anybody coming alongside. This guy is a forest ranger. Uh, you're in the Sierra, in the Sierra, and then it looks like ladies' day out. I see hardly any guys. A guy in the back maybe it looks like an older son, but all the girls and the kids and just hanging out. It looks like at the pool there, and uh, you have a uh, man in a pith helmet. So just the way the custom Sierras would be, beach ball included there. But what a great manual here, right? Now there is the Sierra, but not custom. Yeah, so you can see a little... standard Sierra, just a little plainer. Yeah. Only Dodge Engineering offers so many features. Nice. Look at that. I mean, to find a wagon like this is really rare today. <laughs> Let alone, it comes with the brochure. Well, I bought that separately. Well, still, just to find this, very now, cheap. I've been looking for a station wagon for a couple of years, and I just could never find one that really was the quality I was looking for and just tripped my trigger. When I saw this one, I went, that's it. It's got fins, it's got chrome, it's the top of the line, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Makes everyone smile. Wow, that's a piece here. Had to have it. Well, we can. There's your seat in the back that which can fold down. The best part of the story, Lou, is I actually didn't have the money to buy it. <laughs> so if you want to take this out of my girlfriend, Sally. She helped you? She, she actually paid for it, not me. Sally, come on up for a minute. So I guess you could say it's take, take credit as I open this door. <laughs> Sally, come on in for a minute. Come, don't get me involved in your shenanigans. You're getting involved in the shenanigans. That's part of the channel. Shenanigans are us. But you had the checkbook. I'm going to have you two stand next to each other. It's going to look like one of those. And, and this, the swivel seat? Is it a swivel seat? It is a swivel seat. Yes. Just pull it. Yeah. Go ahead. It, let me... It's just a little bit sticky, funky. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Swivel seat. Stand next to each other. Oh, yeah. Now, the swivel seat is not standard in here. Standard would have been a bench seat. Uh, the people that owned it. Two people previous to me put the swivels in there. Sally, you gave them the funding for this one? Uh-huh. You felt generous for it? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I want to say... You got me at a weak moment. <laughs> <laughs> what, what got you? Just the fact that it was a station wagon and brings it's, back memories? It's just a darling car. I agree. I agree. You can't help but smile when you look at no, it. No, you can't, can you? I mean, is it just... Car person or not? Right? So it's got a sentimental side to it. Let me just show that instrumentation from right there before I jump into an interesting horn. You know, you're not going to miss that horn with that emblem there, your push button here, clearly marked break there, so you don't forget that. And then let's go with our gauges. Were you nervous at all? when you're talking about bring a trailer? Like, were you thinking, I don't know the owner, this might not be such a good idea, or? Uh, not so much. Uh, fortunately, there was a lot, a lot of pictures. I think he had 160 pictures. Wow. So there was every detail and everything. And I emailed him and talked to him through email and asked a few questions. He was a very friendly and quick to respond. And uh, I really wasn't nervous, uh, so. It was a good transaction. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we went down. To, it was in Kansas City, so I hitched up a trailer and we went down to pick it up. And they're real nice, friendly people, and uh, <laughs> everything went along just very smoothly. So. Yeah. It's saying something on that mirror there. I'm trying to catch that just right. Got a little talent. Just mirror magic. Mirror magic. There or Miramatic, I don't Miramatic. know. Miramatic, there yeah, I go, I yeah. finally got it. There we go. All right, let's that take a look. That automatically dims at night. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Sure. 
How do we pop the hood on this one? Is it in the, it's in the front? It is in the front, yeah. <clears throat> so have you guys taken rides in this one yet? We have, yeah. Sally, what's the reaction when you're riding along in this one? Oh, people wave and honk and, you know, they're behind you and they want to zoom up to see, you know, what is it and, you know, read all the emblems and, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> you're a celebrity. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this will make you a celebrity. So what do we have under the hood here? This is a 361 four barrel. Oh, wow, okay, so some power. Yeah, and that was the standard offering in the Sierra Custom. Now, did they put the dual braking system on? I'm guessing No, was that's, uh, that was added on by somebody okay. in the past. Okay, which isn't a bad idea right. for something probably of this weight. And I'll just uh, feature my tag there, as I usually do, like so. And this car is what we call a, a driver car. It's not a high-end, high-show, Concorde car. Uh, it's just a lot of fun, and so. I'm betting that, that let me have you two get together again. Sure. I'm, I'm betting that when you guys bring this to a show, that it just stops the show. Well, we haven't done that yet, but I bet it will. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be a real draw. Like, We'll take it out to back to the 50s, I'm yeah, sure, this people year. people love so. it. Nice. It sounds like there's a little exhaust leak, just like there would have been in the 50s. Step on the brakes, please. Nice. Go to reverse just so we can get all the lights working. Sweet. Alright, this is how this is how we used to do it. We just cram them all in. We roll down that window. Go to the drive-in. We go to the drive-in. Yep. One more slam. We're in. Yeah. Alright. See if it shifts into gear. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We made it. We're off like a prom dress. <laughs> We're off like a prom dress. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So here we are in the 59 Dodge. Go ahead, Randy. Sierra Custom Spectator. That's a lot going on. And this is how we used to do it back in the 50s and the 60s. We just all jump in the front seat and just hang out. The reason they call it a spectator, Lou, is yeah. that this is a nine-passenger car. It has the rear-facing seat way in the back that we call the vomit seat. Because you put the little kids back there and then they get car sick because they're facing the wrong way. And then they puke all over it. And yeah. <laughs> the vomit seat. Some, I've never some heard people it. used to call them vomit comets. I, I've never, never heard that before. I'm, I'm tickled by it somehow. <laughs> Most people, most people would be appalled yet I'm tickled. I don't know. Let me just show the vomit comet. The vomit comet. Let me just show the little drive we've got here. We've got that barely see that hood ornament. Someone as a guide to show you the side of the road and the center stripe it looks like because it's perfectly centered even with that. Sally, you're you're somewhat of a car girl. How'd that happen? Oh. Well, my husband was a car guy, mm -hmm. but he was, a, he was a Buick guy, his whole family was, and that's how, I mean, we had Buicks. Yeah. And that's, I mean, then we met Randy because we live in the same neighborhood, and yeah. he likes fins, and our cars had fins, and so that's who you start hanging around with. That's how it worked out. Yeah. Well, thanks for putting up the funding, and... This is a fun car oh, for the yeah. funding, right? I mean, oh, yeah. uh, no doubt about that. And I want to show that that speedometer. I'm going to focus now that we on We talked that. a little earlier about the ribbon speedometer, and it'll stay green like that until we get past 30. Is that right? And I'll just run this up a little well, bit for well, you. Wait, we're on some curlies right yeah, now. Yeah, well, so. we get straight. Yeah, oh, let's not do it just yet. 
it, you know, the car gets a little scary when we're yeah, past 30. Exactly. Yeah, Because we this, feel like we're going like, oh my God, hang on. Yeah, this one's not some of your other cars. This is not, uh, we're not on a rail, that's for sure. We're, <laughs> we're more on the hold on to the roller coaster. <laughs> and with no seat belts, and that's what you did back in 58, 59, 58. Uh, 58. 58. And yeah. actually, when I bought this a couple weeks ago, it had seat belts in it, and I already took them out. <laughs> okay. That's how I used to do it. I hate safety equipment. Well, we'll get a little straightaway right after this curve. And I'll focus now it's on... starting to see this. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's going to start to turn orange. Let's slow it down just a bit so we can show that. All right. Then it'll stop, though. He's got to be going over the speed limit. That's what makes it... Makes it exciting. Well, that's what makes it turn orange, is when you exceed the speed limit. Is that right? Yeah. So it knows. Yeah. All right, here we go. See? There it goes. Now it all turns orange. And I think when you get up to about 60, it turns red, I believe. All right, we won't figure that know. out. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Let's, let's, show our, let's, let's show if we put this in a tree, which will be great footage. I'm seeing parts of my life last. Yeah. <laughs> and we're all laughing. Because we it's great. We all laugh. We're like, this is perfect. All right. Well, Randy, Sally, always so fun to see you guys. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Yeah, Thank it's you. very fun.